measurement of small distances. To measure small distances, we are going to use some instruments that is screw gauge and vernier caliper. Screw gauge. Screw gauge is an instrument which can measure up to 10 raised to minus 5 meter. Now this is the picture of the screw gauge. Here you can see a stud and a screw and the frame here. And there are two scales. One is the pitch scale and the circular scale. And this part of the screw gauge is called as the timple and this is called as the ratchet. The now object to be measured is kept between the stud and screw and using the timple you have to tighten it. Now you have to take the reading in the pitch scale and the circular scale. Before taking the reading, we have to go for doing finding the error correction. So when there is a no zero error, that is if the zero mark of the circular scale coincide with the zero mark of the main scale, there is no zero error. That is both the zero should coincide. The main scale zero and the circular scale zero should coincide. Then there is no zero error. Then there is a positive error. When there is a positive error, if the zero of the circular scale is below the zero of the main scale, then the error is said to be positive. Zero is below the main scale zero. Circular scale zero should be below the main scale zero. Then the error is said to be what? Positive. Then if the zero of the circular scale is above the zero of the main scale, then the error is said to be what? negative. So before taking the reading, we have to find out the zero error. Now the screw gauge is an instrument used for measuring accurately the dimension of an object up to what 50 millimeter. You can accurately measure using the screw gauge. What is the principle here you are using is the linear motion using circular motion of your screw magnification of linear motion using circular motion of your screw so only you are using two scales one is the main scale and another one is the circular scale now what is the least count of the screw gauge the least count of the screw gauge is 0 0.01 millimeter that is the least value the screw gauge can measure is 0 0.01 millimeter the next one is the vernier caliper here you can see the picture of the vernier caliper here the vernier caliper is having two jaws that is here these two jaws are called as the outside jaws and this is called as the inside jaws and the object to be measured is kept in between these jaws now there are two scales one is called as the main scale and another one is called as the vernier scale and this part of the instrument is called as the depth probe now here this is an instrument which is used to measure the dimension of an object namely the diameter of the hole depth of the hole diameter of your coin um, diameter of your circular ball, small balls like that and all you can measure it. Okay. Now what is the least count of the vernier caliper is 0 0.01 centimeter. It can measure up to 10 raised to minus 4 meter. Okay. So the least value it can measure is 0 0.01 centimeter. Now here also before taking the reading we have to check the zero error. Okay. When there is a positive zero error. If the zero of the main scale is to the right of the zero of the vernier scale so the down scale is the vernier scale and the up scale is the main scale so the zero of the main scale is to the right of the vernier scale then we call it as positive zero error then when it is negative zero error that is if the zero of the main scale is to the left of the zero of the vernier scale then we call it as what negative zero error then when there is no zero error, if both the zeros coincide, that is the main scale zero and the vernier scale zero coincide with each other, then we call it as no zero error. Okay. Now how to take measurement? Okay. First we have to find out the error in the vernier caliper. Then you have to find out the least count. Now you have to place the object to be measured between the jaws, either in the upper jaw or in the lower jaw okay then you have to find out the main scale reading how to find out the main scale reading the main scale reading is the reading to the left of the zero of the vernier scale it is to the left of the zero of the vernier scale you can see this is how we have to find out this is the vernier scale the reading to the left of the 
vernier scale so what is the reading to the left of the vernier scale in the main scale that is here it is 4 4.1 4.2 4.3 .4 so the value is 4.3 the value is what 4.3 now we have to look the number of divisions on the vernier scale which exactly coincide with any of the main scale that is called as the vernier scale reading so here the vernier scale is having 10 divisions out of 10 division any one division will coincide exactly with any of the vernier scale reading so in this you can see the fifth division is coinciding with the main scale okay any of the main scale no need to note down the main scale reading you have to note down the which division is coinciding here the fifth division is exactly coinciding with the main scale reading so the vernier scale reading is what five okay now you have to find out the length of the object so to find out the length of the object the vernier scale reading should be multiplied by the least count and should be added with that of the main scale reading so it is msr plus vsr into lc after calculating the reading, you have to add the or subtract the error depending upon whether the error is positive or negative. Then you will be getting the final value. Okay. Now we have learned two instruments. One is the screw gauge and another one is the vernier caliper to measure small distances.